journey down to Tampico, Mexico, where all the record tarpon have been taken. And here we are at Tampico, that lovely, lazy Mexican port city on the great Gulf of Mexico. Ten miles up the Panaco River, Club de Regatas Corona, headquarters for fishermen, where boats with outboard motors are available. This is the favorite method of fishing for tarpon, and sportsmen come here from all over the world for this thrilling adventure. Let's follow this couple as they leave the club and go after the mighty Silver King. Oh yes, women as well as men, even children, try their luck, and seldom do they come away without at least a strike. Each year about March, the Great Dago is held here. Then you'll see a vast fleet of boats and anglers from all over the world competing for valuable prizes. But at other times too, there are plenty of fishermen on the scene. There's the first strike. Looks like a big one. Now the young lady is getting some advice from her boyfriend. <laughs> a little backseat driving, but she says, I'll handle this, you just watch me. Hold on to that rod and reel, young lady. If the expression on her face means anything, that fish will never get away. There he goes again. The tarpon really puts on a show when he's hooked. But the girl is game, too. Oh, but she'll have to go some to bring that twisting, turning, thrashing giant in. He's bigger than you are, young lady. He's getting tired. Do you like giving up? No? All right then, we're pulling for you. And you keep pulling on that line. You know, this struggle of a girl versus fish might go on for another hour or more. Meanwhile, it's time out for lunch. Let's join this fisherman's chef as he barbecues a big steak over the coals. Living like fishing to give you a healthy appetite. Does that look good? Makes your mouth water, doesn't it? The Tom Pico fishermen are not only masters of the rod and reel, they know how to do a steak to a turn. Another treat. There's no earth where you'll get more delicious deviled crab than right here in Tom Pico. This fellow's eyebrows vouch for that. And here's another expression that tells far more than words. Good, huh? More time out for a smoke and a little liquid refreshment. Man, that really hits the spot. A few fishermen are back in their boats, but while the sun is still high, they just sit back and relax. Oh, boy, is that the life. Maybe the fish are taking a siesta, too. But these men know that Mr. Tarpon must come up for air every so often. A lure that will catch his fancy. A bright, shiny number seven spoon. The favorite artificial lure when trolling for Tarpon. And now if Mr. Tarpon will go for that lure, and he does, and the men on the boat come alive. A fisherman goes into action. When one of these babies gets on your line, you've got your hands full. It takes a strong rod and reel to hold a fish that sometimes weighs as much as a man, often more. It's give and take as the powerful creature heads down the river, towing the boat after him. He springs to the surface and away, forcing the fish about his line. But the expert knows when to pay out and when to reel in. And this man is an expert, holding his own in the rocking boat matching his wits against the monster. Six feet of tarpon shooting six feet in the air. A frantic effort to shake that plug from his mouth. But now the man as the Sabalo is beginning to feel the strain. Sabalo is the Mexican word for tarpon. 
but in any fisherman's language, he's the fightingest fish that ever got on the end of a line. The other men offer advice. Hold on, they say. That fish is more than you are. He's about ready to give up. And maybe they're right. That fish does look beaten. Yes, but hooking a tarpon is one thing. Landing him in the boat is quite another. These men are after theirs. Just under the surface of the water, the shiny lure catches the eye of another Silver King, and he struggles to get off the hook. But this sportsman knows his business. He reels in sharply, and the battle is on. And judging by the pull on that line, this is going to be a real battle. Man, you've really got to be on your toes with these babies. That fellow is trying to take hook, line, man, and boat right down the river. Brother, when you get a tarpon on the end of it, you've got something. There's no gamer fish, no fiercer fighter. Just look at that bucking bronco of the sea. That fish is an acrobat. He literally shoots into the air, taking the line with him. This battle's not over yet, but the fisherman is out in front. The Silver King is tiring fast. Slowly, reluctantly, he's drawn to his captor. Yes, here in Mexico, all the world's record tarpon have been taken. The record at the moment is held by H.W. Sedgwick, his catch weighing 207 pounds. But tomorrow, that record might be broken. Let's hope that you will be the lucky one. Buena suerte y hasta la vuelta.